I should be live. I should Bluetooth indeed. Oh, yep. Oh. Yep, Bluetooth speaker. It's a bit stupid, what? isn't it? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Has it been a little bit, a little bit of time, hasn't it? Indeed, it has. It really has. Uh, let me turn my speaker down so I don't get too much playback here. Um, yeah, I am. I am indeed actually live now. Um, started. So you're not live, but you are live. <laughs> um, I am on YouTube um, right now. That's weird. Someone messaged me on Twitch. Um, on tw Twitch, I don't. I don't make a Twitter post about it, did I? About being live. No, I didn't make a. Wow, I think someone read my mind. I think someone has read my mind. <laughs> I am on YouTube right now. Let me give him the link. Let me give him the link. Let me share this quickly. Um, where's the link? Here we go. Um. Uh, Okay, yeah, so I know I said I'll be primarily moving my streams to um, Nervous Star Guild. Nope, what's what's the nope? Hey, Pokecard, how you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, I said I'll be moving the streams now to... Are oh, you thought I was jumping onto Twitch? Ah, oh, okay. Oh, is it because I did the accidental live stream earlier on the channel that I had to remove? <laughs> Yeah, basically, I was originally intended to go to Twitch, um, a live stream to Twitch, but then I was kind of sitting there going, I made that mistake, and I was like, oh, actually, wait, I think I should live stream to the to the main channel, um, because obviously I've made I made that recent video explaining um, my 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 scenario and the scenario that I'm in, um, very briefly, obviously, but um, and explaining that I don't feel too great, and I was like, Do you know what, I'm I'm getting a bit of positive energy, I'm feeling a bit good right now, you know, I spoke to my brother. And uh, he's he's kind of encouraged me to just be a bit more positive right now, um, so he's been he's been a real big help. Um, so I thought, yeah, do you know, what? I've got a bit of positive energy. Why not use that and uh, do a little live stream? I think I think I owe it to um, to my subscribers. That's what I think, and that's that's why I'm here um, on the main channel. I feel like it's something I owe. And we're going to be playing Gigalith. Um, this is something that I want to make a video on um, whenever I you know do muster the energy to do so. Um, I'm going to be playing Gigalith, which is its rocket artillery, which is discard any fire energy from your Pokemon in play, and this attack does 50 damage for each card you discarded this way. So it's pretty much the same as Blacephalon, um, and of course we're playing it with Naganada. Um, so it's the same as Blacephalon, um, but it works a bit differently, it's a non-GX, so it's just a, it's just a cool idea, and uh, I first heard of this myself from ADV Gym, or ADV GYM. <coughs> yeah, I just, uh, just found out from him, and was like, ah, it's kind of cool, it was a bit shaky when I first heard about it, but I, you know, since a load of nine tails and stuff, I was like, do you know, what? this is kind of interesting. It's kind of doable, right? Now I do want to make a quick change. I don't want to add an energy switch. I think an energy switch is quite important. Um, let me think. Now I've only got one choice band because the damage we're going to be doing is pretty, pretty, pretty strong. <coughs> maybe we go for two mysterious treasure. We have a lot of ball search anyway, so maybe we do that. And then we go for an energy switch. Because energy switch can be quite crucial um, in this list. Now, this list doesn't get the benefits of B-String and basic Pokemon. So, Persephone GX is definitely better, in my opinion. Um, oh, you know, we, we could play Diancie as well. Although it's not necessary. Energy switch. Although it's not necessary. Um, it might be, though. It might be necessary. Hmm. Think. What do I cut though? I don't want to cut another trainer. I don't want to cut that. Um, I want to keep 33 Naganado. That seems healthy. Um, oh, maybe cut the counter gain then. Yeah, maybe cut the counter gain. Because we've got the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then do Diancy. The 20 damage could be huge. It could make a big difference. So let's, let's, do, let's do some Gigalith. Let's do some Gigalith. 
How you doing, James? How you, are you doing? Uh, we are running Gigalith. We are going to be running Gigalith. We're going to be giving it a shot. I'm quite uh, quite interested, actually, to see how this runs. So this is my particular list. Um, and I'll show you the, uh, the, uh, the deck after the game. I think we could do that. It'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of neat. Um, just see how this goes. I'm actually really interested to see how Gigalith plays, I'm going to be honest with you. Right. Let's think. What are we up against? Is anyone here in the chat really looking forward to Tag Team GX? I forgot about Gigalith. I think everyone forgot about it. I don't think anyone knew about Gigalith until, uh, until recently, to be fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, really looking forward to, uh, to Tag Team. I think that's really uh, something interesting, to say the least. Um, and it's going to definitely change the meta. I'd say that for sure. I'd, I'd say definitely change the meta, you know, because, um, oh, this hand is abysmal. This hand is awful. Um, yeah, because high HP, which means wall decks are going to be around. And obviously there's going to be the wall Magikarp. Whale Lord, that would probably be a wall deck, um, as my guess. Um, and then obviously there's the, yeah, tag team's going to be really, really awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. The one I really want to look at is Gengar. Um, Gengar Mimikyu, I really want to look at that one. Um, I think it'd be really cool. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is bad. This is like the worst hand you could ever get. Um, I think I'm just going to skip. No, okay, we'll, we'll try. We'll just we'll just sit here and just pass. That's so bad. That's <laughs> so bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, but yeah, few, um, just to, to make it very off. clear. Power off. To make it very clear, uh, when when I do return to, to my, my regular uploads, which of course it will happen, I just have to find that energy again. Um, hopefully I do so. <laughs> But uh, when I do turn return to uploading videos, the, the streams will again be on the Twitch channel. Um, but again, as I said, I felt like that, you know, considering the stream is going to upload as a video, it's still something for, for my subscribers to, to enjoy, you know. Um, because at the end of the day, I, I do want to make videos for you guys more than, more than anything. <laughs> I really, really, really do. Um, and I also want to make it clear that, uh, not make it clear, but I also want to point out that the the, the support um, I got as well from from that video I posted. Um, Vena, oh, Vena, I just saw that. Sorry, James. Venusaur Celebi. Let's go. Celebi? What do you mean? Celebi Prism Star? Or are you talking... Oh, this is, this is just such a bad hand. Or are you talking um, Shining Celebi? Let's get rid of you. And um, I don't even know what to do. I mean, we could beacon, I guess. But that's just like... That's just like... It's just going to get knocked out. <laughs> right, we're going to do it anyway. We might as well. We might as well beacon. Even though they're just going to attach energy. This, this is Blacephalon, isn't it? I think we're up against Blacephalon. Let's get you. And I think we get another Vulpix. I'm expecting a, uh, a KO. Yeah, this is definitely Blacephalon. Um, but yeah, they, uh, let me... Uh, tag team. Oh, the tag team. The doi. I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. Um, yeah, that one looks pretty interesting as well. I love the artwork. I really like the artwork. I love how Celebi's holding on to Venusaur's Vine Whip. It's just like... yeah. This, this is my Venus. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Such cool artwork. Um, Lost Thunder through Tag Team is going to be a, uh, a monolith of changes in the standard and expanded format. But I do hope Ultra Shiny makes it into Tag Team and not on our April set. Um, hopefully. Uh, I think Ultra Shiny, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't think there's been any news as to whether or not it's going to be a, a an English set. I don't know yet. I really don't know. I know they are out, but I've, I've not heard any confirmation of them actually doing an English version of the set, which is quite quite sad, actually, because everyone wants Ultra Shiny. So if they are, then that's great news to me, but I, I've never, I've not heard of it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I think the standard format will change incredibly once once Tag Team comes out. That's definitely true, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let me let me go back to what I was originally saying. Uh, the, the support I got in, in, in my video... Uh, the one where I said why I stopped uploading um, was just uh, amazing, absolutely amazing. And I, I genuinely didn't expect it. I just was, I just gonna like, okay, upload the video, um, and then be like, yeah, just just let them know. Not too, not too many people are gonna be bothered, but as long as I just whoever's there, as long as I let them know, then you know, I I, I basically made it clear, so I'm not being, you know, a disingenuine. But the, the the comments have been amazing, you know. Um, so yeah, 
there's uh, there's Shane, uh, ADV Juram, and then there's uh, Sark and Alexander and Gary. Um, or just uh, Ember Powers, or even leaving a comment, or just leaving very like heartwarming comments. You know, um, it just it feels incredibly awesome uh, to have to have that level of support. So I really do appreciate it. Ultra shiny, uh, yeah. There we go. It's a bunch of GX, non GX shiny. That yeah, yeah. So it doesn't actually effectively have anything uh, brand new. It's pretty much just reprinting cards that already exist in like Sun and Moon Post. But they have some incredible artwork. They're all shiny and they have this, this very unique pattern. Um, think of like the shining Pokemon. All right, so we're going to go. We're, we're going to just evolve here. Um, we can get Mysterious Treasure. No, Mysterious Treasure is not going to help. We could get Nespo Ultra Ball. Um, we could get a Gigalith out, but we just <laughs> like, what's the point? I think double nest ball. I think setup is like what we need right now. Oh no, we could get an ultra ball and uh, Lele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we'll do. So we'll get that and I think a nest ball. And we will ultra ball a... I think what we'll do is we'll ultra ball with the choice band and the Naganado. I don't like that. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll, we'll 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 get rid of them. Yeah, collect. It's definitely a collection set, and it's just it's really awesome. I I really do like it. I really want to get the Gigalith, but we need Lele. Um, and we could actually Lele for a Lily here, and, and then draw into five, and hopefully pull a Gigalith. That'd be that'd be real neat. So let's bench you. Bench Lele. Get Lily here. Let's do that. Let's do that, and let's go for for Lily. But yeah, as I was saying, the the, the support I, I got for for that video was um, absolutely fantastic, and, and I I, can't, I couldn't ask for um, and anything else. It was uh, it was really really heartwarming. So I, again, thank you to anyone um, who even just watched it and understood, and, and to those that did leave comment, you know, um, making me definitely making me feel a lot better. So that's why the title of the stream is hashtag Stay Positive. It's just um, again, it's it's a reminder not only to myself but to everyone that you know life is really really tough and uh just you just sometimes you just gotta not force positivity as i said but sometimes you've just gotta really really enjoy those positive moments and, and make the most of them because that's what makes life great right so that that's kind of what i, I want to say there so looks like this Persephalon deck hasn't got Persephalon. wait it's Valley. huh maybe to give Persephalon flea retreat but i haven't even seen a Persephalon yet or is this just a pure Naganado deck? Of course, we can all use some positive vibes, man. We can all use positive vibes. Um, I do think they'll send Ultra Shiny our way because they have reprints and the alternative arts of Cynthia and Guzma. Guzma is in danger of getting rotated out. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, do you know what? You're actually right. So that's actually a very good point. That's a very good point. Right, this nine is gonna have to go down, and we're gonna be going to four to two prizes just because of setting up. This is like, this is awful. Look at this. We're just like never setting up. Um, this is really bad. Uh, get rid of Cynthia. <coughs> this just feels really bad. It's like we're just trying to set up so bad. Starting the dance is like the worst. That's like the worst start as well. Like, come on. Uh, I realized I shouldn't have Mysterious Treasure. I could have actually Ultra Space there. I'm actually going to Ultra Space to get a Poiport to Thin so we can increase our, our top deck odds. Let's do that. Let's do that. Loki excited for Goose's to be rotated. I don't think they'll... I would be shocked. I'd be very... It would hurt the metagame. I'd be very shocked if... If something like that does rotate out. Because Gust Effect, which is obviously taking something up from your opponent's bench is like such a staple in the trading card game um, that I don't think they would want to get rid of that dynamic. Otherwise, the game would just be more stale, you know? Um, things like <laughs> Pokemon Catcher or, or Custom Catcher would be like a necessity in the deck just to give you the option of it. Or I guess you could do the... Um, there's the Victory Bell, which is flip a coin if heads do it, or Lycanroc will become more viable. I don't know, but I I, I would be stunned if they got... If they, if they uh actually let Guzma rotate out. That would be insane. Right, we have to Cynthia, and uh, this is bad. This is really, really, really bad. Okay, we got a Gigalith, uh, but we don't have any energy now. <laughs> oh, this has just gone in the wrong order. 
it's completely gone in the wrong order. By the way, this animation, I am not a fan of it. It brings the energy into my hand and then onto the card. That's so weird. That's so, so weird. Um, man, this has just taken so long to get going. But what we'll do, we'll obviously do another one. Can't stream for too long, I'm afraid. Um, I do obviously have to, to drop my little man to school tomorrow to make sure he's all good. And he's actually, he's been very, he's been fine as well. Um, I know it was mentioned in the comments as well. Just to take care of your son, make sure he's all right. He's, he's, he's doing well, which is good as well. Um, it's nice that he's, you know, not exposed to, to a lot of negativity. And as I said, stay positive, stay positive. Uh, have you used ultra space to look for your Naganados? Uh, well, I only have one in deck uh, and one in discard. So I've prized one. So unfortunately, um, all right, this is, this is pretty much game. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. Um, ultra space will not give me any more Naganados. It'll give me another Poipo, which is there, but Naganados are gone. So that we are just, uh, we are just in loser town right now. Yeah, let's just scoop. That's it. We'll go for another one. That was just... I think that went backwards. I think we want to start a Vulpix. We don't want to start uh, a Diancy. That's just the worst. Ugh. Um, One I would hope will get a reprint would be Rescue Stretcher. Because there's not been one since GRI. Which we do have a replacement coming in tag team. But this is a poor Brock's grit. Yeah. You're right. You're right. We don't have much recovery like that. So... But, I mean, we do have Lure Ball, but that's like, isn't it only evolution from the discard? Then you have to flip a coin. So, and I think like losing, um, losing recovery from the discard pile, again, just makes the game very, I don't know. It makes the game quite, again, quite stale. Like, the more options you have in the game, the more fun the game becomes. Like, look at Expanded. Now, Expanded, unfortunately, Zorark is just broken beyond anything, and it probably will be banned. But, if you, let's say if you didn't have the Zorark combination, Expanded has so many different decks and so many different archetypes that it's really, really, really cool, and it's really fun. Uh, do I want this now? No, I want, I want another. Uh, but that's just because there's so many options and so much stuff you can you can do. Which is excellent. All right, that's Lily. Um, and we want to save those last two bench spots for Naganadals. So, Poipo. How many Naganadals? We got two. So, I kind of want to Ultra Ball for another Poipo here for like the ideal setup. But I want to save that for a Nine Tails and hopefully draw in some stuff. Eggs or Skyfield. I think the thing is, eggs, it might be eggs. It might be eggs. <coughs> I think, yeah, I don't think Skyfield because there are other decks that use it like Rayquaza EX. I know that's not incredibly great, but Rayquaza EX uses Skyfield. So I think banning Skyfield would also ruin Rayquaza EX. So I think what they would want to do is they want to minimize the effect on the metagame and they would want to focus on what stops Zorark particularly being so good. So I think Eggs would be the one, but even then Eggs is used in almost every every good expanded deck because it's like you can just use it with ultra balls you can use it with your computer search um but yeah it, it might it might have to be the eggs it might have to be the eggs so that'd be interesting that will be interesting because i don't think skyfield that's crucial it's what makes it hit big numbers don't get me wrong definitely makes is what makes it hit big numbers but all right, this one I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna ultra ball you two away. I'm gonna hold this energy switch for sure, um, and we could get a nine tails. That seems weird. I think we get a poipo. Yeah, I don't want a nine tails. Use nine tails and then like Lily and stuff, and then not get what we need. I want to like nine tails when we have stuff. Which is not happening now, but that's fine. We'll just, we'll pass. I'm okay with that. I'm actually fine with that. I need to be okay with putting energy in the discard pile. <coughs> I'm not used to that, you see. I am not used to that. So. That'd be quite intriguing. Once we start getting energy in the discard pile and just start having a good time. Right. Garchomp. What do I have to say about Garchomp? I think in particular, um, 
God Jump's kind of like... How would I say? It's awkward. That's what I'd say. It's kind of like my deck. It's awkward. <laughs> like, I think we're setting up well right now, this game, which is nice, but it's just... Double energy attachment is always rough. It's always a bit weird. And that's like the big, that's like the big, big um, problem with uh, Bicephalon. It is a fantastic beginner deck, hands down. Yeah, it's probably the best beginner deck, I would say. That or Empoleon, I would say. Oh, wait, no, it's Swamp. I think Swamp is a beginner deck. And that's also a pretty good one. But it's, yeah, it's a good begin beginner death. I would agree with that for sure, because it kind of teaches the game to, to people who want to learn, right? It's kind of like, oh, okay, this means this. It's like direct combo. I guess that's good, because I guess it teaches beginners, you know, the idea of, of building decks and, and archetypes, right? I guess that makes perfect sense. That's a very, very good point. Right, this is down. Um... We just gotta grab a Nine Tails, really, or grab an Ultra Ball. That's what we got. Mysterious Treasure won't do, actually. That's a bit of a shame. We will get rid of the Vulpix. I want, I want that bench space for. Yeah. I want that bench space for another Roganola, which is a really awesome name. I quite like that. Guard jump for its control of the game state. Yeah, definitely. Definitely has control. Um, if there was a way to make this attack just a lot easier to manage, then definitely it would be a top tier deck, no doubt. Um, all right, so let's get you. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to energy switch. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Because I don't know if I'm guaranteeing myself for getting the stuff I need. So let's, let's not. Let's be safe. Oh, Oh, see, this is this is the problem. We're just like not hitting things. <laughs> um, so I've got to attach this to the bench. I'm afraid. What's this? If it, as a resistance to fighting, it does fifty more damage. No. Let's stick with this. We're gonna stick with this, and this is gonna have to get KO'd again. So we're just going down in price cards. Maybe how many energy? Um, I have twelve, which I thought was okay. I thought twelve was all right. I know Bicephalon plays more, but Bicephalon's a basic, so that you have a lot more room and space. But this one, 12 is definitely a healthy amount, I'd say, in this. But yeah. Speaking of, like, theme decks, I ain't played theme decks in ages. I remember playing theme decks just for fun sometimes, because it's his own little thing, right? Theme decks are fun every now and then, but I think the issue is it gets a bit boring. <laughs> Um, I've reached high place with my guard jump deck and lead challenges. I made third and second place while in cups, and I got into the top eight and top four. So that's really good, actually. That's actually really good. Some good stuff. Was, was you using like this kind of guard jump where you have fighting and dragon, and then you like have Lysander Prism Star, where if you if you get a KO, you can if you have one guard jump in play, you can just search out Ly um, Lysander Prism Star and then just get all your guard jumps out. Like, that makes it so good. Yeah, Blacephalon does indeed, uh, does indeed lost zone. Yeah, that's true. Whereas we discard, which means it's great because we can just re constantly reuse it. But it's just, like, getting it out. So I think after this game, like, looking at it now, there's still something a bit clunky about this deck. So I need to re-evaluate re it and find out. Is it Lance Prism Star? Am I getting it wrong? Um, I think it is Lance Prism Star. It's the one... Basically, Lance Prism Star is... Um, Effectively, if you have a Pokemon KO'd next turn, I think it's search your deck for two or search your deck for three dragon type Pokemon, including evolution, and put them onto your bench. So you can just search your deck for all these guard chomps and just throw them onto your bench. Really awesome. Um this is this is awkward. I'm gonna have to Lily for like two. Oh wow, okay, sure. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take it. This is awkward though. I have to Ah, that's tough. I have to like exp uh, discard all the stuff. All the stuff. To get the KO on this Garchomp. Oh, and they're going to KO me. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. Hey, do you know what? We're going to do it, right? We made this deck for a reason. Bum, bum. Who needs Placephalon? Oh, wait. I was about to make a huge mistake. I was about to make a huge mistake. <laughs> I only need to hit 150. And I've got a Diancy on the bench as well. So, one, two, three. Jeez, that was about to go very wrong. 
<laughs> I mean, I've got KO'd, unfortunately, but sure. Yeah, and now the fun begins. Yeah, I see that, I see, I see that. Have I been calling you James and your name is Jamas, Jamas, Jama, Jama, Jamasha, Jamasha, Walker? I'm such an idiot. Um, getting Zinnia is beautiful and free energy of one turn attachment is base, uh, because of the truth. Yeah, definitely, I agree. Right, let's take a prize. Um, this is going to be a bit awkward because we're going to have to, like, weaken or something. <laughs> Because this is this is down. This is getting KO'd. See, this is where Garchomp gets good because they're they're basically ahead on the energy race now. They they just need we have to like catch up, you know. We have to catch them off guard where they have a Garchomp with no energy, and as soon as we knock them out, then it gets a bit easier. But I don't know. I think all Garchomp needs is like a Pokemon or a card that says just accelerate something to a Dragon Pokemon. That's that's what I think it needs. If it's just like accelerate a basic energy to dragon Pokemon in some way, then Garchomp would be busted. That's what I think. That's what I think it needs. Um, the way you say James is perfectly fine. Thank you. Uh, Wishmaster, you're a new subscriber. Oh, thank you. I, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you very much. That's that's really awesome to hear, man. So I, I do hope you stick by. Um, really awesome. I will call you Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, your name's Anakin Skywalker now. <laughs> it's been decided for you. <laughs> oh, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Oh, Thomas. Yes, I just uh, just saw you. I've recently got back into TCGO. And I've been using the Powerful Friends Heracross. I'm currently on a 10 win streak. I just need a few more cards to finish the deck. What do you need? So the Promo Lorantis, I'm not sure what set is from. So the Promo Lorantis is not actually from a set. It's from... Ah. Uh, what's it actually from? I think it's from... Uh, where is it? Promo Lorantis. I don't know if it's from like a certain pack. Like a packet. You can't actually buy it online. Yeah, it's from like a singular packet. So it's like where you buy a blister pack with one pack, Promilorantis and a coin. That's that's how you get it. But what you can do, um, Thomas, is you can actually purchase. If you search, you have to pay, unfortunately, or you can trade online. If you can't trade, you'll have to pay. You'll have to could search online uh, Promo Laurentis code. And then you'll actually get a code given to you if you pay for it. Um, as long as you find a, a reputable site. Right, so uh, we need to bench a Vulpix this turn. 100% need to bench Vulpix. I would like to Guzma, but they've got three of... They got free, they literally, they have... Th they can get any free cards they want any turn. So, like, really? Am I really getting away with that? Well, kind of, because if they play Guzma, then they can only hit 100 damage, which means they're not KOing anything I'm putting down, actually. That's true. Now, I want to ultra pull for a Vulpix because nine tails, right? But actually, no. This is what we're going to do. We're going to attach energy here. We're going to Guzma up, I think, a Lucario. So they have to attach an energy to retreat it if they really want to go for the retreat game. Um, this is weird. This is a bit awkward, but I'm going to have to discard this Gigalith here and an energy just to get Roganola down because we need that. Um, we're going to take the turn to charge up. Maybe I could have done this differently. I don't know. <laughs> the Ninetales could have maybe got me a an Ultra Ball and I could have Ultra Balled for a Lele. That might have been the play. I might have made a misplay thinking about it now. Um, you've been called worse, so you'll take it. <laughs> oh, bless. Um, yeah, let's Beacon. We're going to Beacon for a Lele. And a Naganado. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to go about it. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. There we go. Yeah, so the Blister Pack, uh, and they want 10 quid for it. If you go... Hang on. Narantis promo code. Because you can just buy the code, and the code itself is only like 2 quid. Or 3 quid. Um... So there's the awesome couple, which does it for $3.99 for the code. Um, you can get it from like Magic Madhouse and stuff, you know. Even eBay. 
So let me see here. So it's a Guardians Rising online code. So yeah, the Guardians Rising online code for Lorantis is two pounds, but that would have to be delivered to your house. Whereas if you do the awesome couple, um, okay, so they're going for the Guzma, which is what I anticipated actually. That's actually all right. Um, that's actually okay because the Vulpix stays alive, which is awesome. That's actually really cool. But <coughs> we need energy switch, like bad. We need energy and energy switch. That's like, that's like a must have. And we need to top deck a, a something. Nope, we didn't top deck the something. That's, that's just the way it's going to work, unfortunately. Um, and I kind of want a Lily here. I know it's only for four, but like, we can't leave that Ninetales, man. That Ninetales is like key. We need some good stuff now. Ah, uh, yikes. Oh, hold up. If I get rare candy and ultra ball. Right? We don't need the energy anymore. And we don't need the Naga Nail anymore. Let me get this. Uh, unfortunately, we still lost because they've just got another Garchomp there. But we're still going to play the game, right? We do Gigalith. And then we charge up. And let me energy switch. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. There we go. The deck's doing what it wants. It's just not keeping up. <laughs> Maybe an Oranguru, but then that's another bench spot. That's like, yeah. Oof. Yeah, we're out of stuff. Maybe a rescue stretcher then. So many options. So many options. Rock artillery. One, two, three. And ba boy. Ba boy. So there's definitely like fun with this deck. It's just, ah. Oh, so that's how he deals with it. See, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I mean, sometimes you're going to be missing one-hit KOs with it, but I like that. EXP share is pretty cool. That's one way to deal with the odd energy. <laughs> That's for sure. But, yeah. We'll try and probably th fix up the deck uh, a little bit more. Maybe try it out, and I think that'll be it. <sighs> to be honest. That's what me thinks. <sighs> to make it out alive, I'm, I've been missing a long time. Has anyone heard of Joji, by the way? He's a he's a music artist. Oh, well, he's Filthy Frank. Everyone knows Filthy Frank, right? Um, and he went music artist and took on the name Joji. I love his stuff. He's got an album called Ballads One. I absolutely love his music. Oh, yeah. Lucario is just like... <laughs> yeah, Lucario, like, this is the first time I've seen a Garchomp deck have this many Lucario out. Just look at that. Three Lucario, that's insane. That's just, like, control. Control, control, control. Uh, yeah, yeah, we've lost. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't see any way out of this. Plus the Shrine, that's just, like, yeah. That's game. Unfortunate, but that's fine. Sometimes you, you, just, you just lose, but that's all right. Yeah, Joji's awesome, man. Joji's absolutely awesome. Definitely not overkill. <laughs> um, I also love po Pokemon. Sorry, I always loved Evolution Pokemon in the TCG. I remember in the fourth gen. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cynthia's Garchomp um, being so much fun, and sixth gen Delphox, Delphox Break, and also Eva Soda Wally Rare Candy one. Yeah, and Delphox Break was um, really fun. Like I, I only got into um, the Pokemon TCG. You know, I think. I got into around Burning Shadows, so I've not actually been in, into the TCG for too long. So I haven't actually tried, like, you know, Cynthia's Garchomp and stuff like that. But I've heard of them, and I've heard heard that was amazing. Um, <clears throat> the Delphox, I loved. I, I, I remember playing that. Could you imagine that Delphox today with, like, um, the likes of, uh, what's it, Ninetales and stuff. Being able to get Stage 2s out so so much quicker. You know, that's just that's just incredible. Do you know what one card I'm really looking forward to? And I'll actually show you here. Um... Uh, it's actually Beedrill, and it's got a really, 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 really scary um, and interesting attack. I just want to see if I can find it, but if it takes too long, I won't, I won't, I won't obviously take too much of your time. That's fine. I can't, I can't find it, but what it does, right, what this Beedrill does, and if you haven't heard of it, um, it's, it's fantastic, but, um, 
what Beedrill does is it has the attack for one singular energy where if it has any damage counters on it, it KOs both the active and your opponent's active. So it insta KOs. So all you have to do is throw a rainbow energy on it and then you KO it. And then we have multiply with um, the Kakuna. So that's just going to be a fantastic deck. And it's very reminiscent to me of Greninja being able to use that multiply attack, which is all the same. Um... Right, let's uh, let's read what people are saying. Dawson Fry, I thought you only did Twitch streams, but I'm glad you came back to YouTube. Um, well, the reason why I'm back on YouTube, uh, I mentioned this at the start of this stream here, was I was actually meant to originally stream on Twitch, but um, with uh, obviously what's happening with me recently and obviously deciding, you know, I can't upload right now, I found this little bit of positive energy um, and was like, I think... You know, you guys, subscribers, so yourself, Dawson, and everyone else deserve, I think, at least a, a stream on the on the main channel. Because, of course, you guys are subscribed to my channel. Uh, you want to see my stuff. So, I think it would be a bit unfair for me to go and stream over on Twitch. Um, you know, and whilst I've been depriving my YouTube channel of not being able to upload on it. Because I haven't found the energy to do so. So, I thought, you know, I've got a bit of energy. Let's do it on the channel. Um, I feel like it's just the best, the best thing. So, I will still be sticking to Twitch primarily. But I thought it's just better off now uh than ever right so let's look at this uh gigalift deck i'll look at your guys chat in a bit and see what we can do to just quicken it i i i think see i thought four nest ball four ultra ball four mysterious treasure that's like a lot of search you know maybe we drop the nest ball like that and go do that four mysterious treasure but that would just have an abundance of poipo, but we'll have no Roganolas out. Huh. This one is a bit of a toughie. A bit of a tough one. We could go to free Gigalith and add a rescue stretcher. That seems cool. I like that. Maybe 3-3. Three, three. Maybe that's better. That might be better. Let's go down that road. Um... <laughs> I hope Jump Jump Love burns every single litter dandelion on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious <laughs> oh man you guys make me laugh you guys really do <laughs> all right so let, let's 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 work with this change um i hope that's better we could maybe add like a sophocles you know like drop a the thing is i like cynthia but shuffle draw is like really bad when you're trying to find a bunch of cards in your hand at once so maybe we can drop down to three Cynthia and go for like a Sophocles. That'd be interesting. Gotta add a bit of spice, you know? Add a bit of spice. Let's do that. Add a bit of spice. Do I have the full art? I thought I had the full art. Did I, do I have the full art? No. Not you. Sophocles. No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's let's go with that one instead and see how that rolls. That'd be quite interesting, to say the least. You should use your secret rare and late stream. What the um was it the Gee Gyarados, right? That was awesome. I love that one a lot. I might actually, yeah, that'd be quite fun to look into. Um, 240 and four turns of one energy. What, on Lost March? Do I actually need energy switch? I think so. Um, I think so. I mean, I could, instead of energy switch, go for counter gain. But I think there's turns where, like, because we, we, get, we take so long to set up, we just don't get the energy out. And we don't... Oh, well, well, well picks. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll play a few games and see if actually energy switch is a necessity. Because I, I do think it is something important when you have a two energy attachment required uh, uh, card. Sorry. Yeah, Lost, Lost March is like... I've, I've said my opinion on Lost March like 20 times already. I think it's an autopilot deck. I think it's a deck where it's just like you get it out and you just play the one strategy and like you just go, you know. It's just like KO, don't care what you play. Um, oh, this Lele. Are we playing Are we playing Donald's deck from Dark Integral Gaming? The one that's... Uh, so, uh, is it Serena GX? If I'm pronouncing that right. Hey, this is cool. I like this. Uh, let's get rid of... Oh, I don't want to get rid of Choice Band. That can really play a vital role. I don't want to get rid of you, though, because you can help me evolve stuff, you know? We get rid of the Ultra Ball and... Oh, la, 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 Naganado. 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 Yeah, I know that's not a good idea. I know that, I know that, I know that. I know that for sure. But... 
Oh, we're playing Cynthia anyway, aren't we? Yeah. But I want to I want to keep that because that could really help if we don't get our rare candies. So. Speaking of, we get a rare candy. <laughs> of course, of course. Right, Mysterious Treasure, I get energy in the discard pile. I'm actually going to get the uh, next... Oh, I should have done Mysterious Treasure afterwards. Not now. See, sequence in, Sean. Sequence in. You stop playing the game for a little bit, and then you just forget everything that's important. Um, every time Tana uploads a bit, I see it the same day. Yeah, I mean, he does have, he does have a, uh, an influence, and he is, he is quite a good rogue deck YouTuber, definitely. Someone I look up to, at the very least. He does have good ideas, and I like that a lot. Um... I just like it. I like this, the promo. That's pretty neat. I would like to try that deck. Maybe we could try that out in a different stream as well. It looks fun. I mean, the awkward thing is the energy attachment, but I'm sure there's more fun you can have with it. Oh, that's new. Okay, so this isn't that deck by the looks of it. Interesting. Very interesting. But I think I like the idea of McGinn at Lele. That's a really good loop, you know? That's a really good loop. How oh, we could rescue stretch this one back. Do we do it? Is that no, nah, that's not really necessary, is it? I think I'm gonna Lele for like a lily. I think I'm gonna do that. Because I wanna hold this nine tails again and I just wanna Because we can ultra ball, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna use a rescue stretcher. I know that's kind of a bad idea, but I just want max max draw of this lily, so we'll 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 make sure we do that, you know. Plus, if things don't work out, we've got another turn of beacon. This is like, this is going way better. This is going way better. Uh, let's get that here. All right. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to beacon. I'm fine with that. Um, and I'm going to throw an energy. I don't know if I want to throw it to the Naganadal or the Rognola. I kind of want a beacon. I know I could evolve. I know I could evolve. I know that. Um, but I want to hold my draw supporter. And I... You know, we might want to play time in this deck, thinking about it. <laughs> Ultra Ball's kind of scary, because I don't want to discard... Well, I could actually just discard rare candy and energy. But then I'd be in a very tough spot where... Sophocles is going to be the only thing. I'll be dead drawing completely. So. I think we played a slow game. Yeah. Let's play the slow game. Let's go for Beacon. We'll get a Gigalith out and a, a Diancy. Should we do that? No, we need another Rognola. We need another Rognola. I think having two Rognola in play is like critical. Uh, I'm so excited for the support in Lost Thunder for Jump Club with the Pokemon communication. Um, reprint personally I love rare candy and Omnipoke I kind of think my home streaker gym is as a stuck up break. oh wow uh, respectfully I disagree but hey I think everyone has everyone's entitled to their own opinion is your son okay I've heard him coughing yeah that's fine he um, we he might have asthma we think so I'm obviously I'm, I'm hearing him out don't worry I know he is coughing as well but it's nothing too too serious so um uh, I like PTCG Radio because of how quick he brings info to us. Yeah, yeah. I like that he, he commits himself. He definitely commits himself. And you can tell he really likes the community. Um, yeah, Rare Candy's good. Omnipoke's pretty cool as well. Mahone Sugar Jim. I mean, yeah, I think he's cool. I think he's all right. I don't think he's stuck up. I think he's charismatic, effectively speaking. And he might be... He does talk a lot, but so do I. <laughs> so what can I say? I can't really judge someone who's uh, who, who could who just talks a lot because I'm exactly the same. But um, yeah, I, I have no problem with my home's tricky gym. I think any anyone in the community, as long as they're not doing anything le legitimately wrong, you know, maybe I don't know if he's done anything wrong, but I, as long as they're not doing anything wrong, to me, they're like, yeah, you're supporting the community. If you've got a good subscriber count as well, you're definitely supporting the, the Pokemon TCG as a whole um, and helping it get out there a bit more. Uh, right, so I'm going to mysterious treasure the Voldor away and get. Hmm. So we have, a, we have a Cynthia, right? Yeah, so we get a Poi Plat. Let's get you. And we will Cynthia. We will Cynthia. That is a living. <laughs> Omnipoke is a living wiki on Fitzwater. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
That's very true. Of course, the knowledge is in. That's why they. That's why they got him to commentate in what? Which regional was it in? He did commentate in a in a recent regional. I know that. Uh, I kind of want another Roganola down. Yeah, we'll do that. This Volpix ain't getting carried next turn. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, he definitely knows knows a lot about the game. He definitely does, and you can see that as well. Um, but yeah, I think it's quite interesting. The, I think there's a good dynamic right now in YouTubers, definitely, especially Pokemon YouTubers. I definitely think there's a good a good dynamic. Um, but there's always room for more. There is always room for more. If anyone brings something new to the table, they are more than welcome, in my opinion, to uh, jump in. Right. Ultra Ball. We could Ultra Ball for a Lele. We have an Ultra Ball in hand, so I kind of want to do that anyway. So whatever card we're getting here, we're going to be discarding. So... I think we get... No, Choice Band could be good. Oh, they're just going to quit. Wow, look at these Insta-quits. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. All right, we'll do we'll do we'll do one more game. I do have to go to bed. Um, and take the little man in to school tomorrow. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm just making sure everything's fine on my PC. <laughs> I haven't been on the PC too much recently either. I do need to check on my son as well because he is starting to cough a bit now. Let's uh, let me just do that for two seconds. What I'll do is I'll let him set up and I'll just make sure he's all right. He's okay. He's all right. He's doing all good. Bless him. I love him to bits. Um, the way the current meta is, it's pretty hard to... Uh, I want to make some creative teams, but they all get stuffed up by the top by top tier stuff. Yeah. No, definitely. It's um, The thing is, the way the way I think about it, uh, if, if I think I understand what you're saying, I think what, uh, what I think you're saying is basically... It's my assumption. Um... That basically you can't be creative when you're obviously playing competitively because the top tier decks are essentially always going to get the one up, right? Because they're top tier for a reason. And then many people just emulate. I was so confused when I saw that. For some reason, for a split second, I was like, hang on. Was that just tag team uh, Zekrom Pikachu? I was like, huh? Hold up. Um, I actually don't mind attaching and then retreating. I actually don't mind that. Sure. Let's, 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 let's experiment. Experiment. And put these two in a discard pile and drop down a <coughs> Roganola. Roganola. I mean, we might as well just keep it in the active anyway. Let's do that. Let's keep it in the active. A sign that you might need to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Very much so indeed. <laughs> this is definitely the last one. I can't. I can't wait to get. Um, a face cam that allows me to stream while allows me to use the stream face cam whilst what am i saying yep i, I need to sleep i need to sleep <laughs> i can't wait to get a webcam for the stream that's what i meant to say that's what i meant to say um and also get some proper lighting i want to get some good lighting as well that'd be fun is there aura electro power haha <laughs> I, I thought about this before i told you tomorrow Discharge, discard all lightning energy attached to this Pokemon. There's 30 damage for each lightning you discarded. And then you can just go Electro Power and you can just get a massive one hit KO with the 70 HP Pokemon for a single... I say for a single energy. <gasps> well, not for a single energy. Sorry, I had a hiccup. Um, for a ton of energy, but I mean, Zero Aura's GX attack, I guess, benefits it. But that's dangerous. If they use their GX attack and get a bunch of energy on this, I'm just going to Goosemer it and knock it out. <laughs> Hopefully. Mahoshi Gym hasn't done anything wrong but his personality is very similar to a person that mike uh that i met a cup for Oli cup was easy and i just had a, a problem with un unsportsmanlike personas yeah i to be fair i can't say if he is or if he isn't unsportsmanlike i don't know i've not seen him so i won't go ahead and say but yeah if, if someone is is unsportsmanlike then obviously you're not gonna want to play a competitive game with them that's 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 a fact what time is it at your house? Here it's only 4pm. You're f f how many hours back at you? 
gosh. Um, it is 11.25 p.m. for me. 11.25. But um, I, I, I roughly go for seven and a half hours sleep, and I'm getting up at 8 tomorrow. So five minutes, that's seven and a half hours sleep. Well, no, wait, no, I think that's eight and a half hours sleep, isn't it? Yeah, so it's an hour to just uh, chillax. And you go from there. So yeah, I have to make sure. You always have to trust me. You always need good sleep. You always need good sleep. It puts you in a very good mental mental state. So stick into the name of the stream. Hashtag stay positive. Get yourself some sleep. And trust me, it's a lot easier. Right, so we're going to sit here and just charge up. I mean, you might as well just go for like split poison. Um, I kind of prefer that than looking at my prize cards, if I'm going to be honest. Um, just being able to poison is kind of cool. It just helps out, you know. At least we know next turn we don't need to worry too much about rare candying because we have the boulder. That's why I like keeping that boulder around. Can I play a tournament? I really would love to, Wishmaster. I would, but I need to go to sleep, buddy. I've got uh, my son's got school tomorrow, and I need to make sure I get up early. But what I'll do is whenever whenever I do find the energy again and the positivity to make sure I stream or upload. Um, well, no. I think uploading a tournament might be a bit tough, but streaming, yeah, I'll definitely be able to do a tournament in the next stream. Oh, look at that top deck. Quality stuff. Quality. Um, oh, I wish I had a... Oh, I, w I do have a Guzma. Yeah, I have a Lele. We're actually going to go... Oh, yeah, this is quality. We're going to do exactly what we wanted. Now, I'm going to get rid of this, not this, because although I really want to take a KO on the big boy, this is like... This is the one. This is the one. This is indeed the one. All right, let's go for the Guzma. Let's go for the Guzma. Take this thing, Audi, and we are now on a roll. 160 HP Gigalith, not too easy to knock out. And we're just here now, one. Uh, they're weak, so two. We only need to get rid of two. Actually, do I get rid of you? Yeah, you're more likely to get KO'd. 200 damage. There we go. 200 damage. Yeah. Definitely the Magna Zone, 100%, because uh, it's nice getting two prizes, nice and juicy, but you really don't want to like have that come to bite you like in the future. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. Although he does get the GX attack, but that's why I looked at his discard pile. He has no energy there, so being able to do his GX attack is tough. Yeah, there we go. Right, my son is coughing up a storm, so I'm going to go double check on him again. Um, uh, probably go to bed as well, make sure he's all right. So yeah, that's uh, that is the stream done. We've got lots of fun in the pack, so I might as well go and open that one as well. Why not? I completely forgot about the ladder. I haven't played it at all. Uh, let's open this pack, see what we get. I might as well buy one as well. I have 200 coins. Let's get some packs. Let's get some packs. And then we'll end off the stream, and then I'll have to uh, make sure my son's all good. He might be coming up with something now, actually, thinking about it. He is quite... He is coughing quite a bit. Uh, let's just open these chests. Nothing too crazy in these chests. Hello, goodbye. Hello, Sark. <laughs> and goodbye, Sark. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. It's bad timing. Um, well, considering that you're here, I want to say thank you for your for your, for your nice comment, by the way, on uh, on my video. I really do appreciate it, man. It really, really actually did help. So thank you for that. Um, I'll show you this. Uh, oh, hey, Gary. Gary. Oh, my God. Everyone's joining when I'm leaving. I feel so bad. <laughs> I feel so bad. Why? Why? <laughs> Oh, and Gary as well. I have to, yeah. Thank you as well for your comment, man. Thank you for your comment as well, Gary. You, you did give me some good advice as well. Oh, thank you, Dawson. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Look, at the end of the day, doesn't matter how many people come. You guys are here. We're having a good time. And uh, I'll always be here. I'll always be here. I'm um, just taking a bit of a break now, of course, from what's going on. But I will definitely be back. I'll promise you that one for sure, Okay. Um, this stream alone, for you guys being here, you know, you've made me laugh, you've, you've left some cool comments, it's it's awesome, and it's definitely lifted my spirit, so I know I'll be back. Um, but yeah, let me make sure I'm reading everything here, because I don't want to miss anyone out. Speaking of Zorian, has anyone seen him in action in this in his movie? I actually haven't seen him in action in his movie, no. Um, no, but what did you say? Is anyone excited for Tapu Lele GX, uh, Dragonite? Uh, oh, the, the Dragonite with that ability, yeah, 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 yeah. A def definitely with Lance Prism style. I think that Dragonite is going to be dope. Um, you're, yeah, you're Americans. You're just getting home from work. I'm off to bed. You're, you're not just coming home from work. Uh, what am I doing in the wrong country? What am I doing? 
uh, prevented you from napping. I'm I'm sorry, and I'm also not sorry <laughs> for that. All right, guys. Look, every single one of you are really awesome, and the support you guys are giving me is 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 absolutely wonderful. So just remember, I'm gonna stay positive, and you guys also stay positive. I love every single one of you, and uh, and I will be back. Much love, guys. Take care.